I did not watch the inauguration. I'm because sorry. you couldn't or because you didn't want to? It, I didn't want to. <laughs> well, I think all politics have, you know, it fallen off their mouths, but he's just one of the worst ones, so I wouldn't want to, you know, tune in something that stinks. Right. You, did you enjoy it? Enjoy the inauguration? Um, sure. I didn't see it. Oh, wow. You didn't... I don't want to see that man. I don't want to see him ever. I don't. Anytime he comes on the television, I turn it off. What is the feeling now? Well, I'm going to the march tomorrow. Yes. And um, I don't know that it'll do any good. It will make those of us who have to live here feel like um, we can move forward together. I can't remember a time, certainly not in my life, that was this dark. Really? Yeah. How old are you? Uh, uh, 70 pushing. Wow. Yeah. You even lived through the Vietnam thing and you, you think this was worse? Isn't that strange? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wow. What's it like watching the inauguration in a dorm? Was, was everybody watching it or just you? It was just me. Just you? Yeah. It was a simplification of a lot of deeper issues um, that I don't think were thoroughly understood on the face of the speech. Um, particularly in terms of Im immigration. I mean, a lot of the things that he's discussed. Um, That's true. Uh, it's 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 very controversial. They had it set up on TV, At, in in the office. Mm -hmm. And what was the reaction? What, what how was it? What was the vibe? Um, anger and sadness and some laughter. Both the campaign and this speech boiled down to money and fear of and xenophobia generally. Money and xenophobia. Yeah. And I made this jacket today. We shall overcome.